What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to LEGO Minifigure of the Day. Today we'll be taking a look at Thor Red Scarf. This guy came out in one set back in 2021. Uh, now, guys, this to me, uh, this is a minifigure that it's kind of lacking in a lot of ways. Um, first of all, I will say I think it does look a lot like Thor. You know, I think that in terms of accuracy to the source material, I think his minifigure does a pretty good job. Uh, I would have preferred if he had a cape and not a scarf, but this is an advent calendar minifigure. <laughs> I promise we're going to stop looking at these uh, advent calendar minifigures eventually, guys. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but a lot of this guy's parts are molded in uh, metallic colors. Gunmetal gray, you know, pearl gray, or whatever they call it. Uh, but I think that those colors, the molds, they, they show mold marks very easily. So this guy, he's got a lot of spots where you can really see just, he looks very plasticky. He looks kind of cracked almost with how, how thick the lines are on him, uh, which... I mean, it's not necessarily a detriment. It's just a byproduct of the plastic that they use. Uh, but I, I, I do think it detracts from the minifigure somewhat. He does have a dual-molded head. It's a pretty standard Thor dual-molded head. You know, one side's supposed to be him using his powers, I guess. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's, it's an okay minifigure. Uh, it could have used some leg printing, some arm printing too, really. Maybe some, like, a, a chainmail look, which... That is obviously what they were going for with the, the metallic gray color, but I think that if this minifigure did just a couple more things, it, it really could have pushed it pushed it to a further rating, but I mean, to me, this guy, he's he's only a 7.5 out of 10. There's nothing spectacular about him. He's just kind of just kind of a minifigure of Thor. That's, that's really all he is. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Represent.